Hello guys, welcome to the review of probably the hands-on of the JVC 55NQ785 Ultra HD QLED TV. Now this is one of the few QLED TVs that JVC have started making. It's like everyone is now following that trend of making QLED TVs. The biggest brands being Samsung, obviously. And uh, this TV, the first thing you probably notice is uh, the gold-colored bezels. JVC actually calls this the champagne gold and you can probably notice why. Uh, this TV comes with uh, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, one PC port, it comes with one VGA port, it also has a micro slot SD port, it comes with uh, an RJ45 port, one component port, and one AV port. Now, the TV is uh, a QLED. Now, pro probably most of you have also heard of the OLED. Now, for those of you who don't really know the difference, a QLED is simply an LCD screen with the LED backlighting or side lighting, but most usually it's LED backlighting for an LCD screen. Then Samsung comes in and brands it as QLED. Then an OLED is organic LED, which has organic component materials embedded within the screen. Now, if you want to find out the differences or which one is better, probably there are videos out there that you can check out. But most of the biggest differences comes with uh, the darkness, the brightness, and the clarity. Well, compared to the last JVC TV I reviewed, this TV needed a little more tweaking with the settings, the picture settings, the contrast, you know, the the hue, the brightness. You needed to adjust a little for you to get something that really came out the way you wanted it to look. And uh, since it's supposed to HDR, some people don't like HDR, some do. If you're a gamer and uh, you've probably played a game that's supposed to HDR, you probably noticed that it's like you liked it or you did it. Well, this TV is supposed to HDR and I tried it with some HDR games and it probably didn't disappoint. The colors were, well, the colors were vibrant. The, picture clarity was pretty good. I also played some 4K videos on it. It didn't also really disappoint. And uh, when it comes to cable management again, probably wondering that the best cable management TV I've seen so far is from Samsung again. They use this one cable system and connect it to I think what they call one box or something like that. Well this TV doesn't do that and I'm hoping like everyone will move towards that trend of just you know having one cable come off the back of a TV and go to some connect box where you connect everything if you able to do that then well you have less of a mess behind there when it comes to cables and uh, I'm hoping everyone will follow the trend that Samsung has all the lovers out there are probably wondering about the viewing angle well, JVC claims this TV has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. So, if you're sitting on either side, not directly in front of it, either side of uh, the room, and one, if you're within the 178 degree angle, you probably be viewing the TV pretty well. You won't be missing any colors or clarity and all that. But the thing about QLEDs is that they're trying to make them more like OLEDs, but with the brightness, with the, the less power and all that. And the viewing angles were not disappointing at all. You know, I tried to move from this side of the room to the other side of the room, particularly, not directly. And uh, the, 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 the colors, the brightness and stuff didn't really go off balance, you know. They were as clear as they were when I came directly in front of it. So that's why QLED is moving towards you know and uh, one other thing I really hated about this TV was the speakers the two 10 watt speakers and that's just you know when sound comes off such speakers it's, it's not really clear you know it's like you're just hearing voices and if you're someone who really likes bass or all that just you know probably have to use a home theater or an a stereo system on this TV probably that's what I do use for it another thing is that 
JVC are also making the TVs thinner. Well, this TV is not really that thin, you know, compared to the other flagship TVs. But they're getting there. It's getting they're getting their TVs thinner and thinner. So, which is really good, especially if you like putting your TVs on the wall and stuff like that. And uh, the bezels are also getting smaller and smaller compared to the flagship TVs out there. And uh, they're also being built with premium materials, which is something I prefer because I really like premium materials, whether it being on a phone or anything. Things like that last longer, they look better, and JVC is also doing that with their TVs. Like this one just looking at the TV you can probably notice that the TV is made of premium materials the bezels are made of burst aluminium metal with champagne gold as they call it and the stands are also metal now the remote was pretty pathetic it's plastic cheap plastic with rubber buttons that are not really clicky and uh, it was really disappointing overall you get a TV that is premium looking and you get a remote that is just completely cheap just looks like something else well this QLED TV didn't really disappoint me you know the, the, the picture the picture quality was great the colors were bright it's a QLED TV you know of course it's not really as good as uh, the QLED Samsung is making but it's probably getting there you know like Huawei and me and all these other small brands are getting to the other big brands you know it's a TV that is the underdog of this market you know should you get it well it depends because for me I'd probably get one which I already did and uh, if you want to really talk about things like uh, how it's built the picture quality and all that well this TV hits those marks probably a bit less than the premium brands that we know Samsung and LG but the only thing that it lacks is probably maybe a few areas for this QLED TV I found that the things to complain about were few you know it's like they're getting less and less for the amount that I got it at you know it's not a really expensive TV and uh, JVC are probably reaching that mark you know they're probably getting there and I had I, I didn't have much to complain about except for a few things you know the, the speakers first of all are not that great though pretty pathetic again I guess not really good uh, the remote is just too too cheap the material they used to build it was pretty pretty pathetic and uh, the cable management behind the TV is also another thing. If you're someone who has already bought one of Samsung's TVs with the one box, one connect box, where there's just one cable, you might be pretty disappointed. So if you want to, if you want to get another TV, then apart from that, not really much to complain about. Although people might really debate on when it comes to the picture clarity the colors the mixtures the brightness and all that but it all comes down to how is it comparing to the big brands you know the big flag flagship the qf qfs of samsung you know and for me personally i think jvc is getting there they're getting there this tv was pretty great you know Gaming on, gaming on it was great, watching videos on it was great, editing a few videos on it was great. So I think it probably comes down to you. Well, if you're looking for a reasonably priced TV, 4K HDR QLED, go for it. JVC is making pretty good TVs nowadays, you know, they're getting there. So try it out. For me, uh, this TV is a really good TV for the price. Well guys, thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos like this, and uh, see you next time, cheers.